Hola, adventurers. Today, we've got a cracking video lined up for you. We will explore the top 10 things to do in Barcelona right now. But before we dive into that, let's tickle your brain with some mind-blowing facts about this Catalan capital. Did you know there's a beach in Barcelona that's only 30 years old? Or that La Sagrada Familia has been under construction longer than the pyramids? Still not finished. Gaudy, honey, what were you on? Spoiler alert, architectural genius. Buckle up for more quirky facts and get ready to explore Barcelona like never before. Beach and mountains? Yup, Barcelona's got them both. Skied in the Pyrenees in the morning, sunbathe on Barceloneta in the afternoon. Talk about mood swings, mother nature. Do you know that many remains of Barcino, the ancient Roman city that preceded Barcelona, still exist in various locations of Barcelona's Gothic quarter? Some ruins can be seen in the underground displays of the Museum of the History of Barcelona, MUHBA, which also comprises other heritage sites from Roman times in Barcelona. After the Romans, Barcelona was occupied by the Visigoths in the 5th century AD. In the 8th century, the Moors invaded the city, remaining under their control for 100 years until the Franks reconquered it. Now, let's talk about the urban legend surrounding the Eiffel Tower. This is untrue despite the myth that suggests Barcelona rejected Gustav Eiffel's project for the iconic structure due to size and cost. The Eiffel Tower was never intended for Barcelona. The legend is simply an urban myth. And here's a quirky one for you. Half of Barcelona's green areas belong to Parque de Colcerola, which is 22 times larger than New York's Central Park, making it the world's largest metropolitan park. The city boasts two official languages, Catalan and Spanish. Despite facing bans and repression throughout its history, Catalan is still alive and kicking, spoken by approximately 9 million people today. Central Catalan is the flavor you'll catch in Barcelona within its six dialects. And here's the kicker. Catalan has more in common with French and Italian than Spanish. Talk about a linguistic twist. Now that we've got your attention with those crazy Barcelona facts, let's get down to business. If you're planning to visit or are in the capital city already and wondering what to do, stick around because we've got the ultimate Barcelona itinerary lined up for you. If you still need to do so, we highly recommend you subscribe to our channel, as we will be making videos on all the major cities in the world. Number 1. Our first stop is Las Ramblas. Did you know it used to be a river? Now it's a river of tourists and street performers. It is a bustling boulevard in the heart of Barcelona, with a vibrant tapestry of performers, colorful markets, and lively cafes, pulsating with the energy of both locals and tourists. It is a people-watching paradise. Keep an eye on your wallet and another on the street performers. What warms my heart is seeing locals dressed up in fancy evening wear outside the Lysu Theater, waiting for their show to begin. It's a classy tradition that survives amid all the tourist chaos. Once the largest opera house in Europe, the Lysu Theater still has a stellar lineup this season, featuring shows like Candide, Madame Butterfly, and Hamlet. In its grand auditorium with 2,300 seats, you can also catch dance performances and classical concerts every month. Number 2. All right, culture vultures, let's shimmy over to the sizzling world of flamenco in Barcelona. Picture this. Migrant workers from the sunny south of Spain pack up their bags and, like a traveling fiesta, bring the soul-stirring flamenco to the city's streets. Barcelona is now a hop of this fiery tradition. And if you haven't seen a flamenco show yet, you're missing out more than a penguin in a desert. These shows aren't just performances, they're an eruption of raw emotion. The dancers stomp their feet with the fury of a toddler in a tantrum. Singers pour out their hearts as if they just had a dramatic breakup. And the hand clapping? It's like an enthusiastic grandma at a bingo win. Most top spots offer this passionate spectacle nightly, often with a scrumptious dinner to accompany the drama or choose just the show and get a drink on the house. Either way, you're in for a night of pure, unadulterated Spanish magic. Number 3. Welcome to the Sagrada Familia, Barcelona's most famous work in progress since 1882. Talk about missing your deadlines, right? 
This architectural marvel, a brainchild of the eccentric genius Antoni Gaudi, is like a giant sandcastle with a divine twist. Each spire reaches for the heavens as if saying, look ma, no hands. But the real kicker? This holy cucumber has been under construction longer than it took to build the Great Pyramids. Rumor has it, it might be finished by 2026. But don't hold your breath. So grab your hard hats and come marvel at this epic, never-ending story of a church. So you've blown all your cash on a guided tour of La Sagrada Familia during the day, and now you're on the hunt for some free nighttime fun. Well, head over to Barcelona's Font Magica, ah, the magic fountain. It's chillin' during the day, but as soon as night falls, this water spectacle comes alive with a mix of catchy pop and classical tunes. It's a bit quirky, but it totally clicks, and you can bet there'll be a big crowd gathering around sunset to catch the shows. Number 4. If you're up for a bit of romance in Barcelona, I've got the perfect thing for you. Picture this. A two-hour sunset sailing experience. You kick it off in the city harbor, cruising out onto the chill Mediterranean Sea just as the sun starts doing its magical dip. With the city bathed in stunning orange, pink, and indigo shades, you're on a classic sailing yacht, sipping cattle and champagne. That's cava and soaking up the peaceful vibes. The best part? It can cost you as low as 69 euros per person though, in peak season, it nudges up to 88 euros. Number 5. Check out one of Gaudi's mind-blowing mansions at night. This time, it's the cool-looking Casa Bablo, right across from Casa Mila. So, for the Magic Knights deal, you first get a guided tour of the place that rumor has it Mick Jagger once tried to snag. Then you head up to the rooftop for a live concert. The bands switch up each night, but picture this. Soft tunes of pop-influenced jazz, blues, or flamenco under the Barcelona night sky. Tickets kick off at 69 euros per person, and you score a free glass of bubbly cava. But heads up, these tickets fly off the virtual shelves, so hop online and snag yours if you're up for it. Number 6. Imagine weaving through the shadowy serpentine streets of Barcelona's Gothic Quarter where every cobblestone whispers a ghostly tale. Here, vampires lurk around corners, and gangsters mingle with ghouls under the moonlight. But don't worry, you're not alone in this spoofy soiree. You've got a guide, a master storyteller who brings the night alive with chilling tales that'll make your spine tingle. This isn't your grandma's bedtime story. These myths and legends are a history lesson with a paranormal twist, spilling the haunted beans about Barcelona's ancient roots. The adventure begins every evening at 7.30 p.m., kicking off from the travel bar. For just 17 euros, you get a ticket to the eerie, the mysterious, and the downright spooky. So, are you brave enough for a walk on Barcelona's dark side? It's a blend of history, mystery, and a touch of the supernatural. Perfect for a night of thrills and chills. Number 7. Hey, if you find yourself in Barcelona around July or the end of June, the start of August. I've got a cool suggestion for you. How about hiking up to Montjuic Castle for a special night out? Here's the deal. You bring a blanket, pillow, and a picnic basket, head up the hill, and start the evening with a concert. You munch on your picnic during the tunes and then cozy up, as best you can, for an open-air movie. Super romantic, right? But here's the scoop. Check for a film in English because they're all shown in their original language with Spanish subtitles. Get your tickets early, especially if you want a deck chair, cause those go like hotcakes. And even if you've got an advanced ticket, show up on the dot to snag a good spot on the grass. It's a vibe. Number 8. Ditch the boring parks with their sad squirrels and rusty swings, amigos. We're heading to Park Gel where Dr. Seuss and Gaudi teamed up for a technical fiesta on steroids. Think gingerbread houses melting in the sun, lizards rocking more swag than a Gucci ad, and stairs that wiggle like a tipsy octopus. This ain't your grandma's garden party. We're talking mosaic madness, with walls dripping in rainbow tiles and trees sculpted like dolly dreams. Every corner begs for an Instagram shot, even the grumpy-looking gargoyles guarding the gates. Don't worry. They're just jealous of your killer outfit. So grab your sense of wonder and a pair of comfy shoes. These hills ain't for heels. 
because Park Gel is ready to blow your mind and melt your face in a good way. It's like stepping into a cartoon come to life, where reality takes a psychedelic vacation and leaves you giggling with awe. Just remember, don't feed the dragons, unless you're fluent in gaudy speak, which sounds suspiciously like a kazoo solo mixed with a blender on high. Vamos a Geller. Number 9. Ditch the fancy clubs and overpriced mojitos, amigos. We're talking Barcelona street party style, where the music's hotter than the churros and the dancing's wilder than a bull in a tutu. Yeah, I'm talking Fest's majors, Barcelona's legendary neighborhood blowouts. Picture this, cobblestone streets transformed into open-air dance floors, blasting everything from salsa to Beyonce, with enough free concerts to fill your phone's entire music library. Beer flows cheaper than tears at a telenovela, and the locals welcome you with open arms and questionable sangria recipes. It's a sensory overload in the best way possible. Think spontaneous conga lines erupting around churro stands, kids giggling maniacally with glitter smeared across their faces, and grannies busting moves that make your Zumba instructor look jealous. Just be warned, finding a bathroom can be a quest worthy of Indiana Jones, so embrace the libations with caution or stick to the sangria. Trust me, these street parties are where the city comes alive, where strangers become friends and memories are made thicker than the layer of confetti on the ground. And hey, if you get lost, just follow the sound of laughter and the smell of grilled chorizo. Viva la fiesta! Number 10. If you've only got one night to dive into the local nightlife scene in Barcelona, this glam tour is the way to go. It's all about hitting up some of the city's iconic spots while hanging with a crew of fellow party enthusiasts, kicking off with a welcome drink and mingling at Belushi's bar. The adventure then whisks you away to Slow Cocktail Bar for fantastic mixed drinks and live tunes as the night heats up. After a classy pre-club lounge stop for one last drink, get ready to step into the world-famous Opium Nightclub in VIP style. Whether you're tearing it up on the dance floor or chilling on their beach terrace with a view of the Mediterranean, you can keep the party going until dawn with Barcelona's Glitterati. It's the ultimate night out. Wrapping up our Barcelona journey, we've dived into some of the city's most captivating and enjoyable experiences. Yet keep in mind, this is just the beginning of the Barcelona adventure. Whether you're a fan of historic sites, a lover of delicious cuisine, or simply seeking a good time, Barcelona caters to every kind of traveler. Drop a comment below and share which places you've explored in Barcelona. Also, tell us which cities you'd love us to explore next. Oh, and here's a little nugget we didn't mention earlier. Barcelona boasts a vibrant street life, and one of its gems is the historic La Boqueria Market, where you can savor an array of fresh produce, local delicacies, and soak in the lively atmosphere. Missing it would be like skipping a page in the city's storybook. Thanks for joining us on this journey, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more travel tips and entertaining facts. Cheers and happy exploring!